Welcome. It is November 2nd and we are here with a market update and three trends for home buyers. Well, let's lead with the lead story of today and that is that the Fed has raised the Fed rates 0.75 which was expected but they did it today unanimously. Yes, three quarters of a percent. One mm -hmm. day, boom, swept. Yeah. Uh, how long has it been since it's been this high? It's been 15 years since the Fed rate has been this high. So they expect it to go higher. The Fed chair said that he's trying to cool off the frenzy that is the real estate market. So he is doing his best. <laughs> Raising rates. Yeah, that should work. 75 yeah. basis points or three quarters of 1%. That's it. Okay, yeah. so what's the good news? So the good news is there are three trends for home buyers right now that if you are looking or have been lo looking in the past couple of years and been outbid, it has been a frenzy and frothy. Um, the, a year ago, September, there were 3.7 offers per the listing and this September there were 2.5. So you don't have quite as much competition. Um, the sellers are starting to do a little more uh, repairs and getting things, ne negotiating a little more than they needed to at the beginning of this year and last year. So that is good news. So it went from 3.7 to 2.5? Yeah, offers per listing yes. on average. I don't know about that. Yeah, does I don't it, know. <laughs> yeah, I it, doesn't, know. it doesn't feel that way. I mean, houses that are ready to go, beautiful, <laughs> all done, move in ready, you're going to see some competition there. Um, but I'm not so sure the other ones are, uh, that aren't so beautiful are going to be getting multiple offers. Well, we know they're not. Yeah. I mean, and we know that we're not getting 2.5 offers for every listing. No. I mean, maybe 2.5 by the time it closes, right. you know, after the first person comes in, makes an offer and bails, and then the second person comes in and bails, then the last half person comes in and closes. So that'd be the only way I'm seeing two and a half. Yeah, we'll see. So that was September. So we'll see what happens when the October numbers roll out. Um, but that's kind of the trend we're seeing. So uh, uh, upside is there's more homes to choose from. There is more inventory on the market than there was a year, a year ago. So you do have more things to choose from, which does give you a little more time to think, to think about things and look at things. Mm -hmm. Yes, they have. So the bidding wars have eased. Uh, we've talked about that. So that's one and two, correct? Yeah, and the inventory has grown. So it's increased by 39% as of October 28th. So if the inventory's grown, that means you have more to choose from and mm -hmm. we'll get less offers. What does that do to the market? <laughs> more negotiation power, yes. right? It's right there. More uh -huh. negotiation power. I yes. saw it there in writing. <laughs> that's number three. Yeah, one and two equals three. Uh huh. So one and one equals two, one and two equals three. So more negotiation power. How would you get more negotiation power? Well, when you have uh, less competition, you have more room to negotiate. So over the last two years, it hasn't been that way. There's been a lot of cash offers as is over asking just crazy situations, but that has eased. So the less competition means less competition with other buyers, more competition with other sellers. And also the people are not just releasing all contingencies up front like they were. So you do have time to do a home inspection and thoroughly inspect the home and see if there's anything that you want to try and negotiate on. Yeah, that's a big difference. Yes. It is. Yes. And things have changed or not changed, but the market's mm -hmm. always moving. And a lot of times these reports, they're taken from around the country. So they're very generalized. Us, not so generalized. We're street by street, house by house. Yeah. So a survey from Realtor.com confirms that more sellers are accepting offers that include contingencies today. According to the report, 95% of sellers said buyers requested a home inspection and 67% negotiated with buyers on repairs as a result of the inspection findings. So that's way up. Yes. Makes it a lot different than mm -hmm. when they're waving everything just to get the house and then they find out what they bought. A whole lot better to find out what you bought before you buy it. Yeah. I mean, if you're still renting, you are paying a mortgage, whether you're paying your own or not. So it is time to be paying your own. Um, like they've heard on the market, everyone's saying, marry the house and date the rate. So rates, uh, from what we've heard today, are going to continue to climb. So it is a great time to be a buyer and get in the market before rates climb more. And then if and when they ever come back, you can always refinance. Yeah, well, it's been 15 years since we visited this territory. I follow a gentleman by the name of Tom Ferry on 
on Instagram. Great guy, great real estate coach, just a dynamic guy. And his Instagram post this morning was 9%. I was like, 9% of what? He said, that's where interest rates are headed. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. He tends to be right on the money. Um, so we will just reporting the news as we hear it roll out. But that is three definite big changes for buyers in this market. So if you're thinking about real estate, of course, we would love to talk to you about it. If you're thinking about selling in the spring, now is the time to call us and have a conversation so we can get your home in ship, ship, shape, top shape. Ship shape? <laughs> That's ship shape, top condition, ready for buyers to see it. Yes, that wasn't a four-letter word. I guess ship is a four-letter <laughs> word. <laughs> Shape's a five-letter word. So we always love your comments and your DMs. If you have anything specifically you want us to talk about, we'd be happy to talk about it because, you know, we've been here a long, long time. Ventura County real estate experts, and you know where you can always find us. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thanks, guys. Thanks.